Hello everyone, I'm Brian. Today I'm going to be doing an anime trailer reaction to Arakawa Under the Bridge Season 1 trailer. So this is a request. I do a request. If you have a request, please leave it in the comments below. Please leave a link to that specific video. That way I know exactly which one to watch. So this is, I believe, the um, poster. I doubt it. It might be. But anyways, I don't know anything about it, although there's a guy with a star face there. And I think I did see, like, the cross-dressing nun. I think. So it looks like it's going to be funny, a comedy, but other than that, I don't know anything about it. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Hanabi. From Shaft. So it's a rich person. Real winner.今は<笑><笑><笑> Well, he's about to be in debt to someone, isn't he? Like you owe me. Oh no, he broke the family motto. I'm sorry I have to mute it because of music. They've had to live under the bridge and feel their desire to experience love. He met the recited insane resident. What a cat <laughs> Oh god, there goes the star guy. <laughs> a sister in drag. With a gun, an SMG. And more. I wish there was words so I can understand what's going on. <laughs> What's up? Crying? Sorry for the mute. It's I'm, I I don't want to take a chance on copyrighted music. Well, there's not much going on. So, um, yeah, I, I, I try to react to a lot of anime trailers, but a lot of anime trailers are just music and, and video, which doesn't help me understand what's going on or what the plot is or the characters or anything. And it kind of it kind of sucks. I You know, I like to see, like, good anime, but I can't understand what's going on if it's just music and, and visuals. Don't get me wrong, sometimes it can do a good job in visuals, but, you know, much like a lot of tra I, I don't know I guess a lot of trailers that I'm familiar with you know they talk and you see you get a, a, a better understanding of what's going on to see if that's something that you would enjoy so let's go over the trailer here so we have a guy that it would have been wrong to say I'm a real winner tell the Jamie's prestige schools pay my own tuition and rent without any help from others so it makes me wonder, did he, did he, I mean, technically you kind of already owe your parents because as a baby, you were dependent on your parents. But I guess he, he, he doesn't consider that a debt, especially when you're younger, when you can't afford your own house, you can't afford your own food. So technically your parents have to buy you that stuff. So again, I guess he's technically not counting that. I guess that's, that's kind of expected considering that they chose to have the child. He did not choose to have a life, I suppose. He had no choice in that. So there's some expectancy that they have to take care of the children. And maybe that's even considered to, well, I wouldn't say owe the children, but raising the child is to repay the debt, maybe. Never be in debt to anyone. Although there were some sub... What was he doing climbing that thing and how did it fall? That's a steel beam there. And is she fishing with... What the heck is that thing? I've never... That's not a fishing pole. I don't know what that is. Maybe... Holy crap, that is a long fishing pole. That is a very long fishing pole. 
So it, it did go by, it did had some captions at the very beginning, and it kind of went by quick because I was trying to mute it because just in case it's copyright. Although there, were, uh, there was a lot of Japanese uh, music or Asian music that was in fact copyrighted and I had to get Google to mute that out. So to just prevent that, especially if they're not saying anything anyway, I just might as well uh, mute it. Looks like you owe me. You broke the motto. This fate has become entangled with Nino, an odd girl and self-proclaimed venue What the heck is that? Something to do with Venus? Ah, like she's like uh, considered to be not like Martian, but uh, Venusian, like uh, uh, a creature from uh, Venus. Okay, that makes sense now. So she believed to repay his debt, he vowed to live under the bridge and fulfill her desire to experience love. Why do you have to live under the bridge, though? You know, you don't have to do that. He's also met. He's also met the rivers. Other insane residents. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. A hot-blooded kappa. I know that means something. I'm not too sure what it means, though. I guess I could Google it, or you can let me know in the comments below. What's this? The literal rock star. And then a sister in drag. And with an Uzi. <laughs> and more. I don't know. They didn't mention about these two. Or her, maybe. That's kind of funny. Actually, the... The shape of her face is completely different than whenever you see her, I guess, right there. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know if they changed the art style there for a second. Because, you know, sometimes they have the, the serious face that just really changes it. Okay. So, I will say that it is kind of interesting. I am curious to um, to find out the story between what he does to her, for her, to find out, to fulfill her dream, was it? Her dream? To... Desire. Her desire. So that's not too bad. Um... There's not a lot of anime. I mean, I'm sure there is a lot of anime out there, but I've, I don't know, been busy, I guess. So I've been, and also the one or two channels I subscribe to, which is Madman and Sentai, I believe. Most of their trailers are just music. I can't, I can't really give it a genuine reaction because it doesn't talk about anything. At least this one, I, I, I understand what the plot is now. It's basically this guy who was overly successful, he's a winner, and um, and then because for some odd reason he was on a pillar that fell and then he got rescued by this uh, Venusian a girl or lady and now he's in debt to her and he, in order for him to retain that family motto he has to repay that debt and I'm guessing the only the only thing she asks off is to to experience love, experience love or the desire for love. I guess I should keep it over here because uh, this is the main the main driving force of the um, anime. Experience love. To repay his debt, he vowed to live under the bridge to fulfill her desires to experience love. Hmm. That's going to be kind of difficult. Cause. A person has to be open to that and also has to want it. You can desire something but maybe subconsciously deny it. Potentially. So I'll say this is going to be kind of interesting. Alright, so based purely on this trailer, even though it, it, it actually gave out pretty much almost everything that you need to know about it and then cuts to the music part, I'd say I give this um, about a 3. If I can get it on Amazon Prime, I would check it out, especially if it's dubbed. 
um, I know a lot of anime people like sub because it, it stays true to the words, but <clears throat> and this is not actually action oriented, so sub isn't going to be too bad. But if they start talking too fast, I hate having to pause it and stuff. And sometimes, because I'm not very culturally knowledgeable of Japanese culture, there could be some phrases or word forming in there that I might not understand. They might blow by me, and if they translate it tomorrow what I guess an American person would understand, that I could understand it and laugh. But yeah, I give it about a three. What about you guys? What would you rate it based purely on this trailer? Would you go to say five, a must watch, a four, will watch, a three, may watch, a two, a may not watch, or one, won't watch? Let me know in the comments below. Explain the reason why. If you like my content, please consider subscribing. Thumbs up, thumbs down, down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vid.